Hi folks, I just wanted to show you a real quick, really easy way of doing uh, gravestone lettering. And what I've done here, I've taken a piece of foam core, it's just uh, about a quarter of an inch, and I covered it up with uh, tape, and I did a couple of different tests for it, just to show you the different effects. The first one here, the C shape, um, I did with one single big uh, kind of blow of spray paint. You can see it kind of started to puddle and drip, and that was a heavy coat. And I'm, I did that for a reason. I'm going to show you what that does. It's very satisfying because it eats away very quickly. However, there are some issues. These I did, this one was uh, two lighter coats, uh, one much after the first. So the second coat is still drying. You can see it's a little sticky. And then this one is two light coats fairly quickly. And this one is, this little eye here, is three light coats very quickly, one after the next. And there's a reason for all of this. And let me pull off the um, tape and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I brought you inside to show you a little bit about how this turns out. Now that it's dry, uh, I'm gonna start to peel this uh, tape off. First thing is, here's my C. That was the heavy spray. You can see the uh, letter is nearly completely obliterated. The reason being, it starts to eat into the foam, right? We all know spray paint kind of eats into foam, and that's what we're trying to use here. The problem is it, eat in, it eats in, but not straight in. It starts to spread out, and when that spreading happens, you can see the little thing in the middle of the E is totally gone, as is the top and bottom. You can still see the shape of the letter in the middle, but it's really not what we're after. The next one is the three coats, or two coats relatively close together. Here you can see, this is a fairly successful one. Now, these are light coats, like a pss, pss, right? Now you can see this is dipped in. It's probably about an eighth of an inch in. It's about halfway down. And that's a pretty good result. Uh, up here, there is the two coats that were relatively far apart. These were uh, coats that were done one right after the other. This was a coat sprayed and then it let completely dry, like a light coat, a spritz. Sprayed it, let it completely dry, and you can see it didn't bite in nearly as much. Let's see if I can get this out of the way here. This one is much more shallow than this one. This one's deeper, this one's shallower. Now. This little eye, I did three spritzes relatively quick, quick succession. Let me pull off all the tape. The three spritzes in relatively quick succession, you can see, gets a pretty deep, pretty good one. That is actually the top of the eye, the slit that goes across, and it was literally just a slit. And you can see it will eat in around it. But you can see the edges are relatively sharp. I don't know how well you can see this, but the edges are relatively sharp on all three of these, whereas this one completely obliterated. So, what can you do with this? Well, fundamentally, you can spritz it very quickly, like pss, 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 and that will give you a, a, and I would say three spritzes of whatever your background color is gives you a really good result. And I'll take you inside and I'll show you uh, one of the gravestones that I did that uh, actually had a little bit of a cheat, but I'll show you how that works too. Okay, welcome back everybody. So this is pretty much what's going on. You can see this is really an intricate pattern. However, this works really well for gravestones where I don't really care how intricate. You can see the very edges are a little bit rough and that's great. Well, I haven't finished painting this. I just put a a rough coat. So I sprayed a black spray paint around this pattern. Now this is just using, um, actually I cheated with this one. I'll tell you about the cheat. It's called, a, it's a vinyl cutter, which I used, which was a little bit of a cheat. But the, um, you can use any stencil. And if you put the stencil right up against the styrofoam, this is just regular, ordinary styrofoam, bead foam, the stuff you get from package shipping. In fact, this was from a shipping package. But you can see, I didn't want to do all of this detail, cutting it out with either a router or otherwise, and all of this in the black is recessed. 
and you can see it's really rough texture because the bead foam, the beads themselves tend to break down much faster than the edges between the beads. And it's kind of hard to explain, but if you've ever worked with this stuff, you know what I'm talking about. You see those little beads, those little circles? If I get it really up close and hold still, let's see if it'll focus, there it goes. So around the beads, there's still this rough texture, which actually looks fantastic for stone. But if you look, this was actually done, all I used was a vinyl cutter. You cut out the vinyl, stick it on, weed out the parts that you want to be exposed to the spray paint, hit it with a light spritz. In this case, I did two light coats. I think I'd probably go with three light coats. Letting it uh, dry for about 10 seconds in between is a really safe bet. If you let it dry for about 10 seconds, that'll give you kind of enough time for it to eat away a little bit, but not too much for it to dry. If it flashes over and dries completely, you'll get kind of a, a barrier between the foam and the uh, spray paint. Uh, actually, the paint itself isn't what eat, what's eating away at the foam. It's what makes the paint liquid. That's those, all these emulsifiers and everything else, or whatever you call them. So if you see, and it may be backward, I don't know, it's weird on my camera, but it still gives you quite a legible read. This is, this is lies I did in old, old English. But anyway, here lies our darling Lydia, 1899 to 1902, she's a little kid, because I had only a, a limited amount of styrofoam to use, so her, her uh, this is the front of what is gonna be her crypt. So anyway, uh, you get the idea, it's really easy. And if you have a vinyl cutter, it's that much easier. But if you have a reusable stencil, you can do these all day long. And I suggest using it on a piece of styrofoam and practice this technique. It'll get you to where you can basically do these things really quickly. You can whip out a lot of tombstones with some very intricate writing on them without much trouble. So there you go. Uh, good luck and good haunting.